<laughs> so great show, Belfast is beautiful and wasn't this uh, a perfect setting to be talking about all the issues of slavery and freedom, the sunlight coming in on the mm. evening like this. Mm. How did you guys feel the concert went? I can say I'm speechless. We're on to next, Dan Patrick, the burial place of St. Patrick. There's a lot of history in where we're going next. There is, and um, hopefully, because St. Patrick himself, as we all know, he was a slave. So may this message should resonate more, in that, especially in that building. He's, he's laid to rest there as well. So it's hopefully it'll be more powerful and we'll be able to connect to, to the journey he had himself and to the story we are telling, because the journey hasn't ended. You know, mm -hmm. so despite the fact that there was slavery years ago, there is there is still slavery, but in different forms. Our final show is Button Factory next Friday evening in Dublin, and it culminates a, f uh, a tour of Ireland. Why do you think this has been an important story to tell, and why have we? Why has it been important to go to Waterford, to Belfast, to Dan Patrick, to Dublin? Because this message is valid no matter where you go, whether it's a big city, whether it's a small town. Like all these places have tremendous history, and it's history that connects to people, people freedom and people slavery and people, I suppose, attempt to for, you know, a better life. And I think that's why important to bring that message to everywhere. And, and I suppose this is the first time we, we, we created some dramas to really send a message out there, not just the music, which is also important, but also a drama which encapsulates, you know, what we think is important. So we're really hoping that, that tomorrow in Dan Patrick and then in Dublin, you know, that will be, that will really resonate with people and there will something will stay with them after they leave the show. What would you say to all those uh, thinking about coming along to Dublin, to the Button Factory? Uh, I will tell all those who want to come, they have to come and see to really get uh, the, the true picture of, of slavery, how it was, how it's still co going until now, because people, they, so, sometimes they don't realize that they are in slavery, but we still are in slavery, and um, all the songs we're singing, all the acting, all the things we do, we're doing, it's showing you know, the picture. So I would call them to come and see mm -hmm. exactly what is it about. Uche and Ashley, you're so much at the core of the, the leadership of, and putting this whole thing together. What, what is it about drama and music? Because we can talk about slavery, the politicians talk about it, the charities talk about it, academics talk about it, but why should musicians and actors and dancers talk about it? This uh, true song, through the text which Kieran Judge has wonderfully put together um, and through the visuals there is this message, a strong message of hope, um, of humanity, of togetherness, of uh, opportunity uh, to, to come together, to be that family, to reverse the wrongs um, and that's, it, that's challenging but I think you know, we, we using words, we're just using words, do, the, do we actually listen but music speaks to us on this other powerful mm. level. Mm. What do you think? Well, exactly just like um, uh, Ashlyn, but what I'll also say is that art and art itself is a universal language, despite wherever you're from in the world. Music, drama, theatre, painting, pictures, mm -hmm. they all make sense to anybody wherever you are. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a language. And okay, when you're talking about politicians, politicians, they all from most times have you know, a hidden agenda. but as musicians, as actors, as drummer, as people who love art, there's nothing we're hiding, we're just being true yeah. from our hearts. Yeah, so, we're being honest about mm -hmm. it all. So, that, I think that's why it's more important for musicians and people in the art to, to speak more. Because mm -hmm. everyone will understand, everyone will know okay, that we're speaking from our hearts, we're mm -hmm. actually being honest here. If I can add something, I think it's our duty as well to inspire people. As I think our biggest duty as musicians or, or actors or actresses to inspire people. And that's, that's, I think, one of the biggest roles for art to do that. Mm -hmm. Our work as artists is not just to entertain, but is to educate through music, drama, art, movement, dance. So by, you, by other people's watching what we're doing, actually they're getting the message we're trying to portray to them. So next Friday the 19th of June, the exact day, 150 years ago, on the emancipation, the last liberation of African-American slaves in Gaveston, Texas, in the United States. We're coming together in Dublin, Button Factory, in Temple Bar, 7.30 doors open, 8 p.m. the concert begins. It's the culmination of what's been an inspirational and truly brilliant 
uh, concept and tour and program, Juneteenth, 150 Years of Slavery. We hope to see you then. Thank you.